So today we'll try to create an uh, animation that we want to transfer from one character to another character. So transferring of the animation. So let's try start the scene. Okay, first thing first, we need to have the target character FPX character import and I will point to one of the characters I downloaded this one I will remove the convert unit so it's in, in, in its full size this is the character <coughs> then I want to import another FPX animation import so this is the source okay and let me point out to let's say this character walking <coughs> so this is the walking okay so this is source and this is target second thing we need to match these two character together so we will use the node um, rig match and we connect the first input the target skeleton so this is the animation boss and the second one the source character so if you look here both of the characters I join together press enter and now it's giving me false yes see here source frame rate with work not matching same file so the same file is 30 24 close and now it's working so what I will do I will try to put this character in the same place as of the source character so this is the shark character put it here and let's move it a little bit up I don't want to move it I think I'm okay I will try it like this I will not change the hands because they will intersect with the body so I will call it okay Next, after uh, we rig match the balls, we need to do mapping of the points between the blue, the source, and the target, the green. So I will add the node map point, and I will connect it. First input, the target. Second input is the source. Okay. Now, as you can see. The uh, Houdin put them away from each other, so I will try to connect and match the bones together. I'll start with the head, I'll connect, click on the head, and go to the root of the shark. <coughs> the head to the head, and this is the neck, and we have another line here. and this point will go here the elbow go to the elbow and the rest to the rest same thing on the other side I'm not dragging just clicking one time and it's uh, sorry I did undo and I click on this one let's go to this point and the shoulder to the shoulder now the legs don't want the fingers I want the one above it same things here and I want also the heel and the other heel the knee and the other knee and the femur 
I don't have any points here. Maybe this one to the middle. And the tail I will leave it alone. So I think we are good to go. Now, in the next step, I want to solve this uh, connection by using a full body IK. So, full body IK. I will connect it target to target, source to source, and if I view it, I should have some movement. The clip animation, the one we brought here. moving together so next step I will add a joint deform so this is the joint deform geometry in the wrist position and the capture pose and the animated pose to the first target if I look here very cool of course this jittering and uh, mismatch because we don't have a T pose here if I have a T pose it will be much better um, the other issue I want to do now I want to extend the animation so I make the character move all the way but first thing first let's go here and here we will add motion 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 clip so I have this node now I have the animation <coughs> being extracted after the motion clip I will add motion cycle what is it? motion cycle so this is the cycle and here I will use the locomotion did I add locomotion here? No, I did. So locomotion, compute locomotion because I don't have it. And it's on the joint and I'm using the hip. And the mesh transfer locomotion joint and the method will be around up axis. Use joint orientation. And the attribute, nothing. And here, nothing. Preserve length, overlap sequence. So we don't have any mismatch. Then I will use motion Eva evaluate. I'll add it here. And now, if I look, this is my animation. Now I will extend it. I go to the cycle and push it all the way, and this one also. So I have this full sequence animation. If I go here. Very cool. Here, let me blast. Control G. I'll just select F9 connectivity. Select this boy and delete the rest. And here, I will connect this one to this area. And if I look now, I go to this frame, we see our shark in action. Which clip did I add? Let's see, reload, and here, reload. Here. 
let's try to add another clip import fpx import and here let me choose running running let's just copy this here and this is error let me remember how we do it merge no motion motion sequence update evaluate motion plane base I think it will be let me remember yes I remember no need for all of this it's in the motion clip I remember here we can add more here I connect it here and if you can see the motion cycle I have the walking and then I think there is the running Maybe we can add motion Yes, I remember the arrangement. So I have the first animation. Walk and freeze. So I added motion clip. This is the motion. On the other hand, I have the run. And stop. I, we need motion clip. Then here I define the cycle for how long I want him 